We are often annoyed by people who are either too cold or too hot, but everyone has their own threshold of tolerance. You might roll your eyes when an employee closes an office window in the middle of July because of the breeze. But if you yourself were to encounter an unusually low temperature, you'd get frostbite. And the Eskimos, who are accustomed to the cold, would simply laugh at you. Because for them, this is an ordinary chill. So how can you survive extreme cold or heat if you're just an ordinary, unprepared person and not the famous Dutch Iceman Wim Hof or the successful Mexican runner Lorena, who can withstand nearly any heat? For them, fighting the temperature, making records, and competing is a matter of life. But there was a case when an ordinary nomad, Tyson Steele, found himself caught between two elements ice and fire. At one point, cold and heat suddenly also became the work of his life, or death. Can heat kill? The average body temperature of humans during the day ranges from 35.5 degrees to 37.2 Celsius. The highest mark on a conventional mercury thermometer is 42 degrees Celsius. Do you wonder why? The next higher mark of 43 degrees Celsius is certainly fatal for a person. Remember how disgusting you felt when the thermometer showed anything above 37 Celsius. Sometimes, even on a normal day of vacation, simply relaxing in the shade in your swimsuit, you already feel unwell. What if you need to run a marathon? Maria Lorena Ramirez is a young girl from the hot tropics of Mexico. Running became her addiction. It's very easy to recognize her in a crowd of marathon runners. Just look at the out-of-breath athletes in professional sneakers and shorts. Do you see the girl who overtakes them in sandals and a dress? This is Lorena. Despite the high temperature, she's also wearing shorts, but they're under massive skirts or dresses. Lorena never even wears a hat. Have you ever had heat stroke? It comes after 41 degrees Celsius. You begin to feel nausea, dizziness, weakness, then confusion and lack of coordination sets in. But Lorena continues to run and comes to the finish line first. Lorena never traveled by public transport to get between towns. She ran in the blazing sun, across the hot ground in shoes made from recycled tires, as she does now. What's so special about this girl? Why can her body be pushed in a way that's beyond the control of an ordinary person? Can the cold kill? Wim Hof threw his first challenge to the extreme cold at the age of 17. Walking in the park, the young guy was literally drawn to cold water. I went into the water for just a minute and realized this is what I need. After a couple of months, Wim was able to spend seven whole minutes under the ice. If you find yourself in 10 degree water, you'll lose consciousness in 30 to 60 minutes, and in one or two hours, you'll die of hypothermia. But Wim Hof continued to test his body. The man spent 120 minutes in a transparent cube filled with cold water with ice. When your body temperature reaches 30 degrees, pre-convulsive muscle tone will begin. The muscles around your neck and shoulders will begin to contract, and your arms and legs will ache from the cold. Let's think about the thermometer. Its lowest mark is 35 degrees Celsius, the moment when you start to shake terribly. After 34, you'll lose your memory and reasoning. You'll no longer understand where you are, what you're doing. You'll even stop recognizing your loved ones. Your heart will pump only two-thirds of its total volume, and a lack of oxygen will cause hallucinations. Death will come at about 29.5 degrees. But this didn't stop Wim Hof from running a marathon in the snow at the Arctic Circle at a temperature of 35 degrees below zero. This was how he earned the nickname, the Iceman. In ordinary people, death from extreme cold occurs 17 times more often than from extreme heat. Then how does Wim Hof deal with it? Perhaps there are people with superpowers among us. While Wim Hof climbs Mont Blanc without any problems, dressed in some shorts, others can be ruined by an ordinary cold evening. 
Prasarn Hamthong lived in Bueng Khan province in northeastern Thailand in an unfinished building with no windows or doors. One night, when the temperature dropped to 9 degrees, he gave his 8-year-old daughter all three blankets he had. At about midnight, the girl woke up and returned one blanket to her father. But it was too late. The temperature on Mont Blanc can be about 3 degrees. This is the temperature inside of a regular refrigerator. Why doesn't death from the cold take some people even in a freezer, while others die from the cold in their own home? How can one prepare for the reality that the cold or heat can catch you by surprise? And so it happened with Tyson Steele. A man with his dog Phil lived in an isolated area of the Matanuska Susitna Borough in Alaska. The snow there is very deep and can be as high as up to your chest, while the temperature can drop to minus 40 degrees, and this is already a long way from 9 degrees Celsius. One night, Tyson was very cold and decided to light the stove with cardboard. With the slightest carelessness, the cardboard rose and caught fire inside the chimney. Steele saw a huge blazing hole in the ceiling. Soon the whole house was engulfed in fire. The man managed to take some things and run out, but then noticed that his dog did not follow him, but remained in the burning house. Forgetting about the instincts of self-preservation, Steele returned to the building to save the Labrador, but alas, he could not get to him. Hearing his horse howl, Tyson decided to save Phil from a painful death. He took a rifle and began to shoot at the sound, but never hit. This plaintive howl will remain in his head for a long time. Steele shouted, too. Escaping from the fire, the horse Steele collapsed into the snow. He had to take refuge in a snowdrift. When the temperature dropped below minus 30, he began to lose track of the days and already dreamed of dying in his sleep. And so he held out in the cold for 20 days until he was found by the word SOS, which he drew out in the snow. Tyson Steele is an ordinary person who conquered heat and cold. It turns out that any person, even you, can endure against these two deadly elements. So, how does it work? Wim Hof allowed himself to be experimented on in order to derive a formula for self-control. Wim had thought out a special breathing system, which he also teaches his followers. You all know that adrenaline is produced autonomously in the body. From extreme, from sudden fright, you can't activate it on demand, but not Wim. He's proven to doctors and scientists that he can stimulate adrenaline levels by himself using cold and breathing. By being immobile, he could control his physiology and generate as much adrenaline as is produced in people who bungee jump from a bridge for the first time. Wim Hof's formula, how to deceive your body, is not so complicated. Inhale as deeply as possible and then exhale without effort. Repeat 30 times. Then release all the air and don't breathe for one or two minutes. Having felt the urge to inhale, Inhale and hold your breath for 15 seconds. Repeat three times. Constant breathing training and hardening is the path to self-regulation. It's air and breath that are the first source of salvation. Hoff also believes that modern people have lost touch with the cold, began to wear warm clothes, are accustomed to comfort. As Wim Hof said himself, we can go to the moon, Mars, anywhere but we can't fully understand our own body. Wim Hof spends a lot of time in nature and, while away from it, feels that everything is crumbling inside him. Lorena is silent a lot and doesn't like to talk. She completely withdraws into herself when she goes to graze goats or take care of local owls. She sits on the hills for a long time, gazing at the light of the sun, like Tyson Steele. When he roamed, he was always close to nature and felt like part of it. This is the second component, meditation. In any incomprehensible situation, you should calm down and look deep inside yourself. You have to master your body with the help of what's going on in your head. 
Even if a fire is burning around or an avalanche is approaching, remember, you're part of nature and the answer is within you. The third thing that will help you is your voice. What drives you? What is the motivation? What are you telling yourself or not telling yourself? Wim Hof tries to completely free himself from thoughts. During a marathon, Lorena also thinks of nothing but light. Lorena sings a calming old song about fireflies in her head. She has a goal, this is the light, and she runs towards it. Tyson Steele has a million thoughts in his head. What to do? What will happen to him? He lost everything. But all thoughts are drowned out by the howl of a beloved dog, which burns alive. I'm sorry, Phil. I'm so guilty. He hesitated between not fighting further or even immediately putting a bullet in his forehead. And in order to survive, to see loved ones and to bury Phil with dignity. If you're ever on the verge of death from cold and heat, breathe and calm down so that you can hear the voice inside your head that tells you not to stop fighting.